Welcome back guys to another Steam, Steamy, Steam Deck video. And in this video we're talking about Valve marking some more EA games playable on the Steam Deck like Sims 4 and Jedi Fallen Order. Let's get into it and play it's okay. If you want more Steam Deck content on your YouTube homepage every single day, please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for the latest and greatest Steam Deck news. Even if it's a slow news day, I'll try to get something techy, gamey, Steam Decky out for you. Um, and also check the link in the description for all my favorite Steam Deck accessories and my Twitter account. Come follow me on Twitter, come say hi. Let's get into this. So Valve marks some EA games playable on the Steam Deck again. For the millionth time, Sims like Sims 4, Jedi Fallen Order. Now, this has got a long backstory, and you've probably seen me talk about it before. Basically, EA, EA's PC game launcher was called Origin. They decided to replace Origin with a new launcher, the EA game launcher. I'm not sure what it's called. But basically, it broke just about every EA game on Valve. EA did no testing whatsoever in the run-up to the launch of their new game launcher. It basically broke compatibility with most of their games on Steam, on the Steam Deck, that were once marked as playable by EA themselves. They did no testing. Why? You know? Um, but anyways, Valve and EA have worked together since and basically fixed the issue for the most part. And now we're starting to see games that were wor once working, then broken, now be working again on Steam Deck and they're reflecting that on the game compatibility page um, on the Steam Deck. Um, so EA recently sent Origin to the graveyard and replaced it with the EA app. <laughs> we just talked about that. And it caused numerous problems on Linux desktop and Steam Deck, but it looks like the biggest problems are over on that. The problem is that all these external launchers can cause a number of issues for the Proton compatibility layer as Valve and their open source contractors who work in Proton need the time to catch up on the compatibility side. The switchover came with problems, which Valve partially solved a week later but it still had issues loading, uh, leading me to do a guide on getting it working again. After an, another few weeks later, Valve put up a proper fix in to stop the EA app failing to update. With all that done and the dust settled, Valve has now gone back through multiple problematic EA published titles to re-review them for Steam Deck compatibility. Titles include Battlefield 1, Jedi Fallen Order, Sims 4, and Titanfall 2. So the fact that they're, Valve are going in and basically marking these as playable again is basically I'm a, going under the assumption that these games are now fixed permanently or at least unless ea does something else you know equally as stupid to break the support again all officially noted to be playable again with valve setting them to use proton experimental by default nice to see valve go back over certain titles to check them again although they really need to do that for god of war that has a bug that can reboot your steam deck in it wow we need to cover that anyways guys there you go let me know if you're happy about that let me know what you think in the comments obviously we've been over this and we've rehashed just a million times i'm sick of developers and publishers creating separate launchers on pc we want one basically valve and uh valve and the steam launcher have been the de facto place to buy games play your games log all your gameplay get achievements basically just enjoy pc gaming right um, and I think the reason why a lot of these developers, publishers like EA, like um, Rockstar, like Ubisoft, um, are all trying to create their own launchers is for purely corporate greed. They want to, they want to, they don't want Valve to take a cut for providing the service and the servers for hosting their games. They want to make a hundred percent of the profits at the expense of the consumer, right? Because we have to download a se uh, secondary launcher, create another account just to play your games that we. <laughs> we just want to play we just want to play we don't have to jump through a million hoops to play them on pc all right it's not it's not good for anyone it's going to make people less likely to buy games honestly rather than buy games off the epic launcher i've seen myself actually actually just hold out for months and months and months till the game comes out on steam to buy it on steam i don't see why they're continuing continually trying to push their own launchers and i think the tide has actually started to turn now ea's went from you know removing all their games from steam so they could force people to go through origin to now reinviting all their well re-listing all their games back on steam again which is good and i think ubisoft epic games are starting to do the same a lot of de third-party developers are no longer allowing their games to be sold exclusively on the epic game store um because they know steam is the bigger platform and now with a steam deck as well you know i think developers are going to be less likely to take those little sweet deals from epic games to release their games exclusively on their launcher because they know they're going to make more money in the long run 
by just listening on Steam, making it easier for people on the Steam Deck and PC games, uh, gaming PCs to play on. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, subscribe, click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content on your YouTube homepage every single day. Even if it's a slow news day like it is today, I'll try to get something out for you. You know, even if it's just something funny to laugh at or look at. Anyways, guys, take care. I love you. Enjoy your Monday or Tuesday, whenever you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.